What's next? It's big. It's broad. It's next on Sunday. With six sections and pullouts, including glossy color fashion magazine, Elan. There's something in it for everyone. Next on Sunday, ask your vendor and buy it. Hello, I'm Maya Oluwafemi. Welcome to Next News. The federal government on Monday in Abuja threatened to stop foreign airlines from operating in Nigeria should they fail to grant concessions to their Nigerian counterparts. The Minister of Aviation, Babatunde Omotoba, said this at a one-day meeting with stakeholders and airline operators. Mr. Omotoba was reacting to complaints by Nigerian airline operators over alleged ill-treatment meted out to them by foreign countries as well as other sensitive issues on the activities of the sector. The Joint Military Task Force in Nigeria said on Monday that the six expatriates abducted on Sunday by the Movement for the Emancipation of the Niger Delta were investors. Speaking in Efuru near Wari, the Joint Military Task Force spokesperson, Colonel Rabe Abubakar, said that the nationals from different countries were about 20 nautical miles off Escrivo's waters when they were abducted. Colonel Abubakar said the abductors went inside the ship to take the expatriates who were returning from somewhere and not carrying anything. A multi-billionaire modern prison project started by the Federal Ministry of Internal Affairs 20 years ago has been abandoned in Adamawa State, Nigeria. The Comptroller General of Prisons, Olusola Ogundipe, expressed shock over the level of the project when he inspected the site in Yola on Monday. Mr. Ogundipe, who described the abandoned project as horrible, said the government will do whatever it can to complete it. He said the project will be considered in the forthcoming budget. Transactions on the Nigerian Stock Exchange could not hold on Monday in Lagos due to the malfunctioning of its automated teller machines. The automated teller machines could not function because the source of power supply to it had developed a fault. The Director General of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Ndidi Okereke Unyuke, who addressed the market operators, explained that the exchange could not commence transactions as expected because of the fault. Some 18,000 fans and friends of Michael Jackson will visit the Staples Center Sports Arena in downtown Los Angeles on the 7th of July for a memorial to the King of Pop, who died about two weeks ago. Pop music singers Mara Carey, Usher and Jennifer Hudson will mix with R&B veterans Smokey Robinson, Lionel Richie and Stevie Wonder, while sports stars like Kobe Bryant and other celebrities such as Brooke Shields are also expected. The memorial will be televised live on major US networks as well as streamed on the internet. Former Manchester United striker Cristiano Ronaldo was on the 6th of July presented to the fans of his current club Real Madrid. About 80,000 excited fans were on ground at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium to welcome the Portuguese to his new club. The former Manchester United striker was signed for a record transfer fee of £80 million and was handed the same number 9 jersey Madrid's great Alfredo Di Stefano wore. Thank you for watching Next News. There are more details to these and other stories on our website, 234next.com. Goodbye.